How much should you practice? Hey folks, I'm Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage here. I get this question all the time. How much should I practice the guitar? We're gonna address that, but I want you to think more along the lines of how much do I have to practice? Because that sounds like you don't like to practice. That means this sounds like homework, like this is biology or something, which if you love biology, let's take that one out of the mix. This sounds like calculus. Does anybody like calculus? I don't know, I'm sure some folks do, but you're making it sound like a routine, right? If you say, how much should I practice? I'm not saying you in particular, I'm saying everybody. If you say, how much do I need to practice? Well, that's making it sound like it's a chore. The guitar is fun. We wanna be on it as much as possible. So a better question to ask is, how much can I practice, okay? But let's go back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know, play fair here. I'm gonna answer the question as, uh, as it's been asked so many times. How much should I be practicing, Eric? It's easy as this. If you are sitting down to become the best that you can be as a guitar player, maybe you wanna be a studio player, maybe you wanna to move to Nashville and you wanna be a songwriter, or you wanna play for an artist or be a studio player or in your town or wherever it is that you wanna be, then obviously the question needs to be, going back to what I just said, the question needs to be how much can I practice? Because I can guarantee you that wherever it is that you want to excel on your instrument, there's somebody who's practicing more than you. Okay, and practice equals perfect. Perfect practice equals perfect, okay? So if you're practicing two hours a day, your competition is practicing five hours a day, guess who's gonna be better? No amount of ego is gonna make it better. It's gonna make that spread of three hours better. It just doesn't happen. It's about time on the instrument good practice time on the instrument, okay? Now, if you are somebody who's, so, so we got three levels here. We're gonna talk, we'll break it down to three levels. We got that, that person who really wants to excel. Then we have folks that are perfectly happy with mediocrity, okay? Now I know that sounds loaded, like I'm loading, the, loading that by saying you're perfectly happy with mediocrity, and I am, because I want, you to, I want everybody to be in that, this, this top-notch level, okay? But honestly, there's some folks, you know you got so many obligations, you know that you don't want to be a pro on guitar, but you want to get the job done. You want to, when you're at a party or a jam or something like that, you want to be able to get the job done. So mediocrity is totally fine. Then you want to practice like that, you know? You don't have to practice for hours a day. You pick it up. If you got a gig coming up, practice, practice, practice till you get that gig right, and then you can chill out again, all right? So that's, uh, that's that level. And then the last level are folks that, I mean, I'm not even sure why you'd wanna play guitar if you're not gonna at least be mediocre to, to exceptional. So if you're just gonna kinda whittle away at it just a little bit, uh, I say play video games because the guitar is not super easy. It's not like you can just sit at the piano and start playing some pretty chords. There's some technique that you have to know and nothing against piano players. I, I am not a good piano player, okay? Um, it takes just as much skill to play piano. But what I'm saying is in the beginning, when you're playing guitar, um, there are some things that you can't do in the beginning as opposed to piano where you can play chords out straight out of the gate. So for those folks that just want to spend the least amount of time on the guitar, there's definitely things that you can do. So let's talk about that, okay? So whether you're, um, you know, mediocre to, I don't want to practice much at all, but I want to be good, you definitely can do some things, and but we really have to focus on your practice then. You have to practice the right things, okay? And I go over this in all my courses. Uh, so if you need more information about that, like the free course, yourguitarsage.com slash 30, I talk about all this stuff. But at that point, what you wanna do is you wanna focus only on what it is that you're doing. So if you're just playing chords, don't worry about leads, don't worry about learning modes, that sort of thing. Very important as a guitar player to understand what it is that you should practice and what it is that you shouldn't practice. In fact, knowing what you shouldn't practice is just as valuable as knowing what to practice because if you're practicing the wrong things, that's time that you could be practicing the right things, okay? No, that sounds logical, but some folks don't go about their practice in that way, okay? All right, so we've got those three different levels, right? And how much should you practice? So let's go to a, a time, time frame here. If you were a new student, okay, what I always tell new students is practice until your fingers hurt. 
and put it down. See if you can come back to it that day. Sometimes if you practice too much on a steel string guitar, your the tips of your fingers can be bruised enough to where it's not very fun to go back to it that day. So then come back to it the next day for sure. Don't go don't let a day go where you're not practicing. If you can put in a half hour of solid practice for a beginner, I'd say that's a great place to start, okay? If you're doing less than that, you're not gonna get the momentum that you really need to get going. So my prescription for you is a half hour a day, come hell or high water, practice it. I know that sounds like a lot for some folks and for some you're like, that's nothing, I can do that all day long. Great. For those folks that can't, try to push yourself into, if you're doing it for 15 minutes, try to push yourself into 20. Try to get into that half hour a day, something to where you can start excelling, all right? So there you go, how much should you practice? My quick answer is don't pose it that way. Say, how much can I practice? Do that, practice as much as possible. Break your practices up into, into different ways so that it becomes exciting all the time. Like if you're that person who wants to practice as least amount as possible, at least be practicing the right stuff. As I talk about in my courses, make sure you're practicing the right stuff and avoiding the stuff that you just probably aren't ever gonna play. All right, my friends, let me know how, how it is that you practice. Let me know what it is that you're doing. Maybe I've missed something here. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter, all those places where the kids hang out on Instagram and a million other places. So let me know. Uh, hit me up there. I would love to help you out. Hit thumbs up and like if you like this video. Uh, as always, oh, hey, yourguitarstage.com slash 30, right? That's where I have my 30 lessons that I teach all my students here in Nashville, but I've made a series for you for free. You don't need a credit card or anything. You just go to yourguitarstage.com slash 30, the link's below, and you can get in there for free. Let me know what you think about it. All right, friends, as always, spay and neuter your animals, be kind to one another, and don't trust the man. See ya.